Hey guys, Remy here. Today we're going to take a look at advanced mixing uh, with fan control. We're going to try and create a dynamic offset using uh, one of the new features uh, that was just added to fan control. So, dynamic offset you ask? Yeah. So, what we are trying to do is basically either apply an offset based on case temperature uh, for which we can use uh, something like an internal storage hard drive uh, as a sensor. We can also, uh, let's say, apply an offset when we are pro-gaming and uh, pwning some noobs uh, because uh, our games are uh, very demanding. Or we might want to apply an offset when a specific sensor uh, reaches a critical temperature. Uh, let's say you got a your uh, motherboard uh, VRM is getting too hot. You might want to bump up your uh, case uh, fan speed by something like 10%. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Or you might have some other ideas to how to apply dynamic offset. Let me know in the comments if you got some. So for a little demo. So here I have uh, all of my case fans um, activated and I got a basic case fan curve, which is uh, a mix fan curve uh, from the CPU, um, CPU sensor or GPU sensor, uh, depending which one is uh, the highest with the max function. So how do we apply a dynamic offset to this existing um, existing fan curve. So first thing we want to do is add a new uh, mix fan curve. Uh, we're going to call it uh, mix uh, case, I mean, plus offset. And what we're going to use is uh, the, the new uh, feature I talked about, which is uh, choosing the function for the mixing curve. So we're going to use sum and we're going to uh, use the case as the first uh, fan curve. So as you can see right now, it's summing uh, the case, which is at 48 and zero because we got nothing. So we're gonna take that fan curve and put it to the left. And then we're gonna create our offset. So it's gonna be a dynamic offset. So we can use uh, the graph, why not? So we're gonna use our one of our hard drives. So I can use, let's say, uh, I got a WD green hard drive, which is at 28 degrees. And this is a good, a hard drive is a good representation of your internal case temperature. It will be higher than your ambient temperature, but in a case of a storage drive, which just sits there and is never really used, uh, it's gonna change based on mostly ambient temperature or inner case temperature if all your of your components are heating up. So we're gonna use that. So right now uh, it's doing mostly nothing. My computer is idling and it's at 28 degrees. So this is gonna be our uh, baseline. So we're gonna call it offset and we're gonna edit that curve. So. Uh, it's going to be a very, very slow curve to respond because um, this is a, a an offset based on ambient temperature. And ambient temperature is going to change really slowly. But we want it to be super precise. So we're going to keep the uh, range to one degree. So as I said earlier, 28 degrees is going to be our baseline. So we're going to put a single point at 28 degrees zero percent and when our inner case temperature reaches i don't know something like 35 degrees we are gonna jump up uh 10 percent and then we're gonna remove that point so this is our offset from 28 degrees to 35 degrees so we're gonna click ok and then we can apply uh yeah and then we can apply the offset just like so. So right now it's at 0%, uh, so it's adding zero. But if we uh, increase, let's say by 3%, like this, as you can see, uh, the sum is summing basically our previous fan curve and 
uh, our new offset line curve. So this way, when the ambient temperature rises, our case plus offset is a little bit higher. So we can now use that new fan curve like this for all of our case fans. And we got ourselves a dynamic offset on our fan curves. That was easy, right? So I hope you enjoyed this little, this little example. And one last thing, I talked about a gaming offset. Uh, so if we create a new fan curve and we call it gaming uh, and we could um, apply it instead of the offset. And then what happened is uh, you, when we are about to go gaming, we can simply choose, let's say 15%, and then our fan curve increased by 15%. And when we're done, we can simply apply zero. So all of our fans will quickly change 15% by simply um, changing the offset on a single curve. So it's easier than doing it for uh, all of our other fan curves. So that's one other way to do it. Um, yeah, so I think you get the idea. So I will leave you guys there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, and uh, you feel free to leave a like. And you can download the software uh, on the link in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.